Stuart, thank you for the invitation here to uh, Vector Precision. Now, this company has gone through a lot of changes in the last couple of months. In fact, we, we dropped a clanger coming here. We went to the old, old building, would you believe? Um, you've moved from what was in crew to here, haven't you? What, what's happened? Talk us through what's been going on in the last few months. So since the QR8 network bought Vector out, we've moved the premises. Uh, we came here in October the 14th. Within 24 hours, our first machine was working. Within 48 hours after that, all machines was working out, turning parts for our customers. Um, what's so good about the creative network now taking ownership of this business? Because they've got other companies within the group as well that support industry. What, what's now going to take this business to the next level? It's been able to react to our customers' demands. It's been able to be more flexible with the customers' needs and being a one-stop shop from purchasing material, from the subcon of the powder coating or the heat treatment and being there for a customer's needs 24-7. Because you have all of those types of companies under the umbrella of the creative network, don't you? And in fact, in a couple of months' time, we're going to come back here to site to see um, to see the growth here at Vector and, and hear more about the creative network. But in the meantime, I want to learn more about the reason that you selected not just a star, but a sliding head lathe as one of your first machine purchases. Why was that, Stuart? The reason why we decided to go for sliding head is because we was losing 20% out of, of new business due to the fact that we hadn't got one of these pieces of kit. Um, we'd done some research, we've uh, looked into it more closely and we chose Star due to the fact they were so flexible and wanted to work with us. Um, sliding head lathe technology, it's a big topic of ours we, we touch on a lot. Um, you've got older machinery, which I'm sure you've used within industry in years gone by, cam autos. These machines have changed massively since then, haven't they? Would you agree that the, the flexibility that these machines offer now mean, well, that they open up so many, a myriad of options to you when you're manufacturing, don't they? They do, yeah, because I mean, it's all uh, computerized driven now. Um, you can write the program uh, in our CAD room, send it down uh, by the internet, and it's on the machine and it's ready to go. So in the, in, in, in the types of machinery I'm talking about, uh, it always predominantly would have been bigger batch runs, but again, you, you, you've gone against that grain here too, haven't you? We can, we can now accommodate 30s, 40s, hundreds off on this type of technology. Is that just because of not just the programming, because they're easy to set as well? Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you've got a component which has got three or four different operations, if you use a normal mill and a normal lathe, you put it on the sliding head and it's done within the day. Regardless of the material, or I mean, you can go up to what, 35 mil bar diameter on here? Any, any, any restrictions at all in that material type that you could use? No, um, Star have said, and we've done some research, we can use any type of material. Uh, from the ink canals to the titaniums, to the brasses, to the aluminiums, to the stainless, up to 35 millimeter. Um, turning at the moment, just a turn part, but have you uh, done a lot of milling on here? Something we always try and explore is how capable these machines are when it comes to milling operations. Have you had and tried and got success from that side of things in the short period you've had the machine? Yeah, we've done two uh, milling and turning jobs on the star. One, the customers had the first 300 and asked us to do another 300 because the quality and the service was phenomenal and they loved the parts. Risky time to invest this, some might say, but you, 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 you wouldn't agree, would you, obviously, with this here? It, was it just the fact that you're ambitious that you wanted to invest or the fact that Star really did support you commercially as well to take this, uh, to take this machine on? A bit of both there, really. Star was so quite flexible with the working with us. They was quite happy to... Uh, do our terms and we, we just wanted to get into that market. I'm going to come back here as I said on invitation in a few months time. What will we see here Stuart when you look at we've got a bit of vacant space here in the uh, in your on your shop floor is this going to be filled up with more machines like this? I've got another star coming in next Monday I'm hoping to have another star by Easter next year and um, a machining centre with a few faxes uh, units on it.